Hey guys, Chase Tobin with Contact Industries, and today we're going to be talking about the differences between ballistic glass, force entry glass, and security fill. So getting started with ballistic glass, all right, we're going to talk about some pros and cons. Uh, the pros of ballistic glass, number one, obviously, it stops bullets. Depends on what level you're looking for, ballistic glass generally comes in the UL752 scale from 9mm all the way up to 50 BMG. We've got all kinds of levels for that. The cons of ballistic glass is generally it's more expensive than some of the other glasses that are out there. So it depends on your facility, what threats you are trying to mitigate. Ballistic glass may or may not be for you. Moving into uh, force entry glass, the benefit of it is if you're not looking to stop bullets, you're looking to just deter a, a robber or a, somebody to come vandalizing your store, uh, that's generally where you're going to see forced entry glass. So you can have delays up to an hour uh, with some of the forced entry protection. The cons of forced entry glass are that they're not going to stop uh, projectiles like, like bullets. Again, you have to determine what's uh, right for your facility. Finally, we're going to discuss security film. Security film is generally the cheapest option when it comes to securing your storefront or, or your facility. Uh, the con of using security film is it's not going to stop uh, those rounds, but it will uh, stop any kind of uh, burglar and it's going to keep your glass from shattering uh, in your storefront. There's a lot of different ways you can secure your facility, but that's all going to depend on how you perceive your threats. And if you don't know how to do that, you can contact one of us at Contact. We can come walk you through uh, your threats and determine what uh, glass solution is best for your facility. Uh, for more information, you can contact us at info at contactindustries.com and we look forward to hearing from you.